Hey everyone, so I watched a Manchester City game today in the Champions League and I just noticed a few things in the first 20 minutes I wanted to go over, uh, specifically on the inverted fullback that Manchester City we have seen use in the past and this season. So let's get right into it. This is Manchester City's basic structure, one of their basic structures. Uh, is specifically rest defense here they're in the wide area with Benjamin Mendy out wide with the holder Rodri as the holding midfielder the right back is Jao Quinsuelo uh, start for him not typical Kyle Walker usually starts over him with Otamendi and Fernandinho as you see Fernandinho step back into the role due to some injuries of other players He's done quite well there. And so now we'll move into some more dynamics concerning the fullback positioning. So here's an example of when just after the clip we saw with them in the wide area, they were able to recirculate the ball due to good diagonal passing and strong connections. So here's an example of of Jao Consuelo's good decision not to become inverted as a fullback and why why I say this is because Fernandinho is in the half space just barely in the half space with time to progress the ball forward Fernandinho is able to progress the ball forward after a circulation so good job by Jao Consuelo to create this space because if Jao Consuelo is inverted at this time it would create a vertical passing option rather than the chance for Fernandinho to progress the ball himself dribble forward to create that connection to what we what I like to call as the miso system which is the system between the furthest players but in behind the first line passing option so right now David Silva is playing the miso system and uh, strong diagonality and the miso system is highly effective and again good job from Jao Consuela not to stay inverted here I don't know if he meant this purposefully but nevertheless well done and this allows Fernandinho to be aggressive as a center back and dribble into the midfield to create passing options while taking the attention of the defensive team's midfielders away from the players between the lines like David Silva. Now the next picture we'll see an instance where here Jao Consuelo he decides not to invert when he probably should so the ball was just with Mendy and is being recirculated we see Jao Consuelo here deeper in the picture he started here where my cursor is in line with the holding midfielder which is typical for fullbacks especially for Manchester City to play in the line with the holding midfielder and instead to escape the cover shadow of the zag grab forward he comes deeper now when thinking about deep fullbacks and what their purpose for a deep fullback typically is to get the wide midfielder of Dynamo Zagreb to jump and when the wide midfielder jumps this far of a distance to the deep fullback this usually breaks a horizontal connection between the wide fullback and his other partners so here why this isn't a great idea for this specific game is Zagreb isn't so much concerned as playing very aggressive very proactive defense because they are fine with just letting Manchester City not progress the ball. They do look to win it at times, and we see that with their, hor uh, their diagonal compactness in the wide areas when they get Man City to play in the wide areas, but it isn't an overcommitted, proactive, pressing defense. They are more than happy to let Manchester City circulate the ball. So, saying that, the positioning of Jao Consuelo as a deep fullback coming deeper in line with the center backs here isn't isn't very effective because the Zagreb midfielders aren't going to jump out to press him 
they they're going to be more than happy to stay connected and shift across so that to that taken into consideration the purpose of the inverted fullback would to be to affect these players these defensive players more so coming into this highlighted zone this yellow circle alongside Rodri Rodri is playing in the cover shadow of the number 10 in this situation the attacking midfielder right here <clears throat> and so by being inverted there'd be a double pivot and the number 10 can only cover one of the holding midfielders with his cover shadow which would free up Jal Consuelo and if not the deep deeper midfielder defenders they would either stay deep to protect the players between the lines or they would jump out to create to prevent access from the Manchester City center defenders and the platform areas between the forwards and the midfielders <clears throat> so that was one instance and now a second instance a similar scenario where now Gundogan fills the holding midfielder role as Rodrigo comes out as a left center back here connected with the other two center backs he's almost in a full back role but you can kind of look at it as an off-centered back three but either way same concept the Gundogan the holding midfielder in this instance attracts pressure from the Zagreb forwards and midfielders and now the space is opposite the, the weak side holding midfield position which isn't occupied by anyone now just after this instance Mares looks to occupy this space but really it should be Jao Consuelo <coughs> inverting here where now a diagonal pass and even quick circulation can now find and exploit this space after Zagreb shape gets narrow and gets forced to one side but Consuelo is not even on the on the screen and they aren't able to exploit this space and progress on the weak side half space <clears throat> now a different scenario here is Rodri drops deep as a third center back temporarily and this only happened once in the first half first 20 minutes that I watched of the game and here Benjamin Benjamin Mendy becomes inverted he is on his way now this is a clip in the process of Mendy inverting so the forwards fail to use their cover shatter to prevent the new pivot and Benjamin Mendy where he Benjamin Mendy now will be able to get the ball and progress it and now what this does it frees up the entire wide area here for Bernardo Silva who played on the left and then here we have Jao Consuelo who's not really inverted and he's not in the wide area so this could come a little bit from Gundogan's position playing as an eight so he could come deeper but he could also go between the lines so I see the hesitation from our right fullback here but it would be a little bit better to see some decisiveness because we see a typical city structural change with a back three they like to put both the fullbacks as double pivots as we've seen them do before but not a big deal they're progressing down the left side and in this instance it works well for them so thanks for watching uh, please uh, DM, like, leave a like. Um, thank you for taking your time.